good morning students today we will read the, the third chapter of ninth class that is the flower we know that uh, in this world there are two types of plants are there one is your angiosperm and another one is your gymnosperm to now we will know what is angiosperm the plant which have flowers are known as angiosperm or it is otherwise known as uh, flowering plants and the plant which do not have flowers known as uh, gymnosperm or necked seeded plants now comes to know how many types of flowers are there actually there are two types of flower one is your bisexual another one is your unisexual the flower that possesses either stamen or carpel is known as unisexual whereas the flower which possesses both stamens and carpel are known as bisexual now we have to know what is stamen and what is carpel the stamen is the male reproductive part of the plant whereas the carpels are the female reproductive part of the plant in short if the flower possesses either male reproductive parts or female reproductive part that is known as unisexual flower whereas the flower which possesses both uh, male reproductive part and as well as female reproductive part they are known as bisexual flower now comes to the structure of flower so this is all about the structure of flower first the lowest part which is uh, uh, where the flower attached to the branch that that part is known as pedicel then comes to thalamus then comes to sepals or calyx then comes to petals or corolla then ovule or uh, your uh, androecium uh, gynoecium then next one is your androecium the gynoecium is uh, consist of three parts one is your ovary style and stigma and the androecium is consist of two parts that is anther and filament and uh, the anther and filaments are joined together with a connector this is all about the structure of uh, flower now we have to know what is hole actually there are four holes in the flower the first hole is your calyx what i show you before the calyx or sepal the second hole is your corolla that is your uh, um, petals then the third hole is your androecium which is a male part then the fourth hole is your gynoecium which is your female part now we will read one by one hole first one is your calyx the calyx is a green color that cover an unopened bud you know this part is your calyx or sepal the sep it comes the calyx consist of sepal so this part is known as your calyx which is green in color and it covers when the flower is in bud condition it covers that flower or it protect the inner holes of the flower and this calyx consist of 3 to 5 sepals basing on the number of and shape of the sepal the flower is again divided into two types one is your polysepalous another one is your gemosepalous what is polysepalous the flower whose sepals are free the sepals are free they are known as polysepalous whereas if the sepals are fused together and forms a dome like structure that is known as gemosepalous then what is the function of this calyx the calyx protects the inner holes and it also as it is a green in color that's why it contains chlorophyll and also helps for the photosynthesis now comes to second hole that is corolla it is the colored and scented part of the flower and consist of petals what i told you this is the corolla and it is it consist of petals 
this part is your color and centered part the number of petals is different in different flower so basing on the arrangement of the petals it is of two types one is your polypetalous another one is your gametopetalous the polypetalous are uh, in polypetalous the petals are separated whereas in gametopetalous the petals are uh, fused now what is the function of this petals or corolla actually as it is the centered and color part that's why it attracts the agents for pollination and it also contains the sugary nectar that's why when the agents comes and sit on the flower that nectar helps for the attachment of the pollen grains on the leg of the agents so next one is your uh, this is all about the corolla then comes to androsium it is the male reproductive organ of the flower and it consists of stamens what i show you before that it consists of it is the male reproductive part of the flower and it is uh, it consists of uh, stamen then it is made up of two structure one is anther and another one is your filament and these two structures are connected each other by a connective and it also contains the pollen sac where the pollen grains are produced which contains the gametes basing on the structure and placement of the stamen it is again divided into four type the first one is your polyadelophus where the stamens are free and filaments are united second one is your monodelophus where the filaments are fused and anthers are free you know which one is your anther and which one is your filament so when the stamens are free and the filaments are united that is known as your polydelophus whereas the filaments are fused and anthers are few, free that is is known as monodelophus and when the filaments are united in two bundle and anthers remains free it is known as diadelophus the next and last one is your syngenesious when the filaments are free but anthers are united it is known as syngenesious so again i am repeating there are four types of flowers basing on the placement and structure of the stamen when the stamens are free and filaments are united it is known as polyadelophus when the filaments are fused and anthers are free it is known as monoadelophus when the filaments are united into two bundles and anthers remains free it is known as diadelophus and when the filaments are free but anthers are united it is known as syngenesious next last one is your gynosium it is the female reproductive part of the flower what i show you before this is the female reproductive part of the flower it consists of three parts one is your stigma style and ovary and it consists of carpels or pistil which forms the gynosium then the ovary is separated into two parts or inside the ovary the ovules are present which contains the embryonic seed or after the maturation these ovules produce the seed next one is your stigma which receives the pollen grains or it is also known as receiver of pollen grains then the style which is connect to this stigma to ovary and it is known as the connector through which the pollen grains are enters into enters into the ovary or reaches near the ovary next there are different types of gynosium are present based, based on the number of carpels so if the number of carpel is 1 it is known as monocarpellary if the number of carpels is 2 it is known as bicarpellary if the number of carpels are more than 2 it is known as polycarpellary so the gynosium is divided 
divided basing on the position of the ovary you know the ovary is the last part of that gynoecium but sometimes what happen the ovary is present in different different place so basing on the presence of ovary or position of the ovary the gynoecium is divided into two types one is your superior ovary or hypogyny if the ovary is above the attachment of the other three hole if the ovary is present on the upper part of the um, upper part of the other three hole that is known as hypogyny if the ovary is below the level of the three hole it is known as epigyny or inferior ovary now we all discuss about this four hole so based on the presence and absence of the this hole we can divide the flower into two parts that is complete flower and incomplete flower what is complete flower if the four holes are present that is known as complete flower if only one or two holes are missing or one or more holes are missing that is known as incomplete flower so this is all about the structure and functions of the structure of the flower and functions of the parts of the flower thank you